there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we're back with another cool, fun physics lesson. Today, we are going to make an awesome slingshot, mastering some cool skills like making things so they do and don't collide. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. If you're in my classroom, double click on MT Tools so you can launch blank.phz. This fun file is a blank project that we can work in. I will post it on hlmodtech.com so you can get it there as well. We're going to start by importing a funlet. We want to bring in a wall while the world is paused. We want to set it on the ground gently. When we hit play, it'll settle. You can see the clouds are moving. We're going to pause, grab the rectangle, select the entire thing, and clone it again. Set that on top. Let it settle, making sure it's nice and straight. Use the rectangle to grab all of that, and we want to have our project be exactly four stacks high. And that's how you do it. When you've got your four stacks high and settled, hit pause, and we're going to start building our amazing slingshot. Above the middle of the tower, I want you to build a small rectangle. Click on the rectangle, click the collision menu, and shut off collisions. Check your neighbor to make sure they did that as well. Click the X to fixate it, and we're going to attach that right to the sky. When you hit play, you'll notice it does not fall, which is perfect. Pause again, grab the rectangle tool, select all of it, and hit clone. And then we're going to drag it down so that we are shooting towards the middle of our tower. When you use a catapult, you need to have something to hold the projectile. We're going to build that with the brush. I'm going to take this brush and shrink it down to half size, about 25. I'm going to move to the multi-draw choice. And then I'm going to stretch out quite a ways and make a U-shaped project or a backward C. Because I turned on multi-draw, I can scroll in and I can make a little piece that holds the projectile in both directions. That's because multi-draw was turned on. I'm going to go to the spring menu, and I'm going to stretch a spring from the front to the back, and from the front to the back. I don't want this spring to go yet, so I'm going to quickly create a attachment that is attached to the sky. So you can see that one is blue. And then I'm going to zoom really in and make sure that this one attaches to the green. To make sure that you understand that, I'm going to select this green piece. And I'm going to pick a funky color. I'm going to go all the way out to this crazy pink and see that attachment changed to prove it was attached to that piece. This is also fun if you move out to the saturation, then you can really make your colors look cool. So right now, if I hit play, nothing moves because that's attached. I'm going to right-click drag so I can see everything. I need to click on my first spring. And on the spring menu, see its target length is 3.6 meters. That's this distance. I'm going to cut that in half or in half-ish. So I'm going to go 1.3 I'm going to click on the second one. I'm going to make it the same. Even though it was target length 3.5. So now they're very close to the same amount of tension. I'm going to add a projectile. You can decide how big, how small that projectile is. And then I'm going to click on the little box. And I'm going to give it a destroy key. The number one on my keyboard is going to be how I launch my catapult. And, without any further ado, let's press that key and see what happens. <laughs> okay, that was not success. But that's actually awesome, because this is where we get to try and make it more cool. I'm going to start by just adjusting the spring lengths. So instead of 1.35, oh, notice my tower has fallen. I'm going to hit pause and fix that real quick. If you draw a large rectangle and hit play, you can then gently 
bring that rectangle over till it stands back up and make your building or your tower sturdy again. While this is sitting here, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going back to that spring real quick. And I'm going to make it 0.5 for the length. And I'm going to change its strength from 0.25. I'm going to do 0.5 for the strength as well, so it's a stronger spring. Let's go to the other spring and make the same modifications. Note, you can type. So if I just backspace, there's my 0.5. And then I wanted to make this 0.8, so I'm going to just delete. Oops. Control Z is undo if you accidentally get rid of something like that. And I'm going to just drag this instead of typing since apparently I have no typing skills. I'm going to click on my temporary wall holder and delete it. And now let's press the number one. Ooh, that time we did have a collision and we knocked out part of the wall. So now what we do is we go to our projectile and modify it maybe. So see how it keeps rolling to the front? It's probably way cooler if I have it in the back. So I'm going to do a multi-draw erase. And I'm going to erase the little pocket so that the ball can sit back there. That holds the ball better in that spot. Real quickly while I'm zoomed in on this little fella, I'm going to also choose selection and I want to follow the projectile with the camera. And then also I'm going to change my material. What if I make the ball out of steel so it's heavier? Back it up and let's press the number one. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you make a slingshot. So now is when you get to explore. You can always undo and make it more cool. You can clone it and move it to the other side of your project or anywhere else on your project. If you right click, you can rotate it so it's at a different angle. And then my favorite part is to change the destroy key so they can work together. You'll notice this one is accidentally grouped. Let's do selection ungroup so that way I can just click on that last piece and then change its destroy key to the number two instead of one. So that way you'll be able to launch two projectiles at their own time. Multiple launchers, all kinds of crazy cool stuff, and amazing fun experimentation with the springs and the collision menus in the fun physics simulator. Alrighty friends, so if you found this cool, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HMI Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey! Hey!